the call to assembly. Assembly, assembly, assembly. Today, I question you of utter importance. I call you to assembly to hear the voice of your Lord. I send forth the call to those who hear my bugle and heed the sound. Many hear, but do not take heed. I call you to assembly now. I call to those who will, will arrive prepared, ready, and standing in position. The warriors know this call of man and will stand in uniform at attention for man, but will you arrive at the call of your maker? Are you prepared for inspection? Assembly, assembly, assembly. This day, your name is called to inspect. This day, I call your name to inspect you before me. Will you pass my inspection? You claim to stand before me with clean hands, innocent of bloodshed and a heart clean. But I ask you this question at assembly this day. Can your eyes pass my inspection? What do you gaze upon, my children? Where do your eyes go for your pleasure? Is it to my holy altar, my holy word, or my holy vestibule filled of tears from your attendance of praying and fasting? Or do your eyes enjoy the pleasures of this world? Do your eyes roam as mine, seeking to find the upright and holy? Or do your eyes roam to gaze upon fornication? Do your eyes gaze upon bloodshed and violent striking of fists and weapons of man? Do your eyes gaze upon the goblet of drunkenness and on the abomination cursed by your God? Do your eyes settle in the twilight upon the perverse and unclean? Do your eyes settle to roam on the wires of man to view those pretending to know me whom I have not anointed? Do you take the words of wolves and filter them not. Your eyes cannot pass my inspection. Your hearts are far from me because you cannot tell your own eyes to refrain from the gaze of the world's sinful ways, poisoned by the pollution of the false prince. And you stand at the edge of the pit, gazing at its beauty. What shall I do with you? What shall I do with the ones who wear my uniform and speak my name, yet corrupt from his own eyes? The desire of the eye has polluted you. Your hearts cannot speak a lie to me. I call your heart to account and demand its account. The creator of the heart demands it to speak. What is your answer, O heart? The muscle shall move upon my demand and it shall speak in your place. What will your own heart divulge? What shall it say of you? You claim to wear my uniform. You claim to know me. You claim to have seen me and you claim to have heard my voice. O oh man, and you have again been deceived. How can I visit a man with corrupt eyes that have polluted the whole man? Does not what is inside the cup determine cleanliness? You gaze upon what I have cursed and you smile. Oh, how you can recite the narration of the actor on his stage, disregarding my instruction to not go near evil. Do you think your master collection of the words of the world, your knowledge of the actors of the stage and their play for fornication, debauchery, drunkenness, murder, violence, and you remain clean? Can a man put fire in his own lap and remain unburned? You view with hungered pleasure and after you wipe your own lips as a brazen harlot and you say, I have done nothing wrong. Inspection, inspection, inspection. I have called this inspection. I have called you by name. Can you withstand the fire of refinement? Will you, any of you remain as pure? Who will not be melted as dross revealing the full impurity? Who can stand at the call of his maker and tell me you have remained clean before me? Today, in assembly, I inspect you. Tomorrow, I shall judge you. I judge with the uniform stripped. I judge with the swing of the sickle, the heat of the fire, and with ropes of the threshing floor. Will you survive? Will you survive the maker's cleansing? Will your heart speak in your place and reveal the action of your own eyes? Run to my altar before the rocks crush you. Does not my word say that if your eye causes you to sin, to gouge it out? What must I do to the imposter wearing my uniform and quoting the name of the Most High? 
You speak the world's language and laugh at its sin while claiming to be called of me. You speak unwholesome words from your lips and gaze at those who speak it also. Who gave you permission to gaze upon what I have cursed? Who gave you permission to speak words of debauchery, filth, and murder? I tell you this day, the false prince has invited you to his chamber and you have gone running. You now allow your children to gaze into his chamber and be also gazers of the seduction of man. Have I not sentenced many to the pit because of these actual actions? Why do you gaze upon what I have cursed? Cleanse your eyes and see what has been placed before you. The ashes of burned flesh and the bones of the dead are on the plate you gaze upon. The deceiver decorated them with fine flesh, fine perfumes, and the words of seduction to deceive you of the contents of his gain. Run to me, gouge your eyes and beat your chest, rent and wail before me before it is too late. Sweep clean your homes and burn the dross from what you claim pure. I call you to assembly. I call you to inspection. I call you to my bugle. You shall not pass until I inspect. You shall not pass until I inspect you and smell you. I know the aroma of purity and I know the stench of sin. Seduction, seduction, seduction. Oh, how you have allowed your eyes to be seduced. Imposter, imposter, imposter. Oh, how the imposter has fooled you with fine flesh and sexual strength on the stage. Even your ears listen to the music of Lucifer. You sing the words of the pit. You listen and you sing and you sway and you do not even hear the drums of war beating. You sing the words of Satan and cannot sing a lament for me. You recite the words of the actors of the world stage and cannot recite the words of the God you claim to serve. Inspection, inspection, inspection. Today is your inspection. Today I call you to stand at my plumb line. I shall inspect you. I shall probe you and I shall smell you. I will remove the imposters. Break now before my hand strikes. Clean your homes. Clean your machines. Clean your tools. Clean yourselves of the toys of this world. Clean your eyes. Clean your tables. Come trembling to the table with my holy word at the center and prepare it for my holy manna. It will only be the clean called forth who will be protected and guided in the Exodus. He who has ears, let him hear.